Our school flower and they are planted all the way from our school gate to our school building. While passing these flower beds every morning, we get to think of beautiful things which is a great way to start the morning. Our school gives all kinds of certifications of excellence for reading, computer skills, PE and even Chinese language. Once we reach a certain level, the school awards us with these certificates. Our elementary friends really do everything to perfection, don't they? Hope our super kids contestants do the same. 예, 우리 등현 어린이들은 평소에 열심히 공부를 잘하니까 오늘도 좋은 성적을 거둘 수 있을 거라고 생각이 됩니다. 그동안 배우고 익힌 영어 실력을 마음껏 발휘해 보세요. 등현 어린이. 힘내자! with a lot of talent, but they don't have a lot of time. No, no, in this round, they have to fight the clock. If they can, they get a total of 10 points, perfect score by getting all the hints right. Well, we've got 10 participants in four teams. Each team has randomly chosen a category. Let's see which category this team has chosen. What is your category? Food. Food, okay. Do you have a favorite food? Yes, my favorite food is dog boogie. Dog boogie, spicy and delicious. Well, good luck with this delicious category. Here we go. A fast food you eat with French fries. Oh, uh, hamburger. Korea's representative beef dish. Uh, bulgogi. A mixture of vegetables and fruit with dressing. <laughs> Salad. Italian round bread with toppings. Oh, pass. Koreans eat this every day. Rice. A bowl of rice mixed with vegetables. Spaghetti. Sausage placed inside bread. Hot dog. Famous Indian food that is yellow. Curry. A drink made by putting leaves in hot water, Tea. not coffee. Italian style noodles. Spaghetti. Italian round bread with toppings. Pizza. A bowl of rice Eating mixed bob. with vegetables. <laughs> We're always happy when we don't have to hear the end of the hint. They just know it, they say it, and it's all gone. They're all gone. They got a perfect 10. Good job, guys. Let's have a perfect team come next. Sometimes the category is easy and they just rip right through them, get all 10 points. The last team did pretty good. Of course, they're smart, but the category wasn't too tough. Will this next category be tough? Let's see. What is your category? Animals. Animals, all right, good one. Do you have any pets at home? Yes. What do you have? Dog. And your dog's name is? Doll. Uh, doll? Yes. Is it a doll or a dog? <laughs> Yes, a dog, <laughs> real dog. A real dog yes. called Doll. Yes. Okay, well, here we go with animals. Ready, set, go. 
This eats grass all day and helps with farming. Cow. This animal has humps on its back. Camel. This animal has webbed feet. Rustar. The female has a pocket in the belly to carry babies. Pest. This animal has white curly hair that is used to make wool. Sheep. This pet looks like a rat. Pass. This cries in the morning. Uh, uh, this. 2007 is a year of this animal. Pass. This moves very slowly and lives very Turtle. long. This looks like a duck, but is usually large, longer and has a longer neck. Okay, not too bad. Got to tell you that this year is the year of the pig, right? It's the year of the pig. Not too bad, guys. Not as good as the last team. They got a total of five. Okay, high five. Let's have another team. <laughs> Food and animals, what's next? Let's see. Hi, what is your category? Movie theater. Movie theater? Yes. So when you hear movie theater, what do you think of? Popcorn. Popcorn. Okay, let's see if it pops up. Ready and action. The movies are shown on this big white thing. Screen. You eat this with soda while watching a movie. Uh, yes. An actor actress who comes out for a short time. Pass. This is where you buy the tickets for the movies. Pass. Scary movies with monsters and vampires. Um, pass. A sign advertising the movie. Pass. This is the way out. X. The person who comes out in a movie. Shit. There are no more tickets. Uh, sold out. You watch a movie sitting on this. Seat. You eat this with soda while watching a movie. Popcorn. An actor, actress who comes out for a short time. Uh, extra. This is where you buy the tickets for the movies. Box office. Scary movies with monsters and vampires. Horror film. A sign advertising. Oh. Yeah. All right. Kind of sped up there at the end. Yes, very good. It did pop up. Popcorn delicious while watching a film. Eight is the total. We got eight points. Very good. We'll have one more team. One more team and one more category. Let's see what the category is. What is your category? Playground. Playground. When you're on the playground, what do you like to do? Play soccer. Excellent. Well, every kid likes to play, but let's see how much they know about the playground. Let's play. A rope held at each end and twirled around while someone jumps. Jump rope. A seat hung from chains and moves back and forth. Piss. A long, narrow board that goes up and down. Piss. A structure of pipes and bars for children to play on. Jungle gym. You will feel more comfortable running in these. Mm, running shoes. This is planted on the ground. Swing. This makes sounds when you blow into it. Piss. You wear this to avoid sunlight, a hat with a visor. Pass. This is a long seat that a few people can rest on. Swing. You have to push the pedals to move. Pass. A seat hung from chains and moves back and forth. Oscar. A long, narrow board that goes up and down. Grass. This is planted on the ground. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, obviously these guys do a lot of studying, but they should do more playing on the playground. Do some more research on the playground. They got a total of three points. It's not over. We have another round.
like the first round, we're dealing with 60 seconds. That's right, one minute. But there's a lot of differences. There's two teams battling against each other. And they have a letter, and they have to write like crazy. A couple rules. If you have some spellings, can't give it to you. If the letter is Z, I don't want to Z you. That's zoo, right? No, it's not. If you write zoo twice, I can only give you one of them. If you write zoo and zoos, I'll only give you one of them. If you write Zimbabwe or uh, my friend Zorro, sorry, we don't want the proper nouns. We only want the, you know, the small letters, po if possible, please. Okay, we've got two teams here. Apple brought with them a perfect score of 10. Very good job, guys. Very good. And on this side, we have Orange. Who are the writers? Two of you. They had three points. Not so hot, but it's unlimited. If they get 100 points, it's possible. We add it to their three. If they get less, it's less. But it is unlimited. The only limit, time, 60 seconds. Give us a letter, please. Whoa, W. Here it is, Apple team. OK, doing pretty good. A lot of confidence here. Not an easy letter. Okay, let's check out the other team. Orange. Tough letter. Look, they're working fairly well here. Okay. Nice straight lines. <laughs> Good handwriting. Slowing down a little bit. All right, pretty steady though. Nine seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Somebody stop us, stop, 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 stop. Wow, what a letter. Now I think I'm gonna do some uh, marking. Check it. Let's see how wonderful the Apple team did. Okay, check out the first one. Three, two, three, two, three. Okay, very good job. Pretty good. Oh, man. My goodness. Well, it was very balanced. Very, very balanced. Very, very similar. On this side, Apple team had 28. The other team had 27. But Apple team brought with them a total of 10. So 38. And the 27, very strong, but only three added to that. 30. It looks like the Apple team is moving forward. I wish that elimination were not necessary, but it's unavoidable in this day and age, especially in our show, Super Kids. Like the last two teams, these two teams have randomly chosen to do battle against each other. They also brought with them points. On the side, Lemon did pretty good, had five points. Tough category. All right, and on this side, Kiwi. They did a little bit better. Three points better, they had eight points. As you saw last time, you can get a little more, a little less. We have seen some great battles. Three points is a little easier to, well, close the gap than seven points. Anyway, let's see how well these two teams do. They know the rules, so do you. Let's find out our letter. All right, let's go, C, 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 yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh-huh. <laughs> doing very well. Okay, got the ladies over here. Mm -hmm. A lot of food. I wonder if they're hungry. Okay, lemon team. Doing well. Let's check out the other team. Kiwi team. All right. All right. Ooh. Good, good. Have the guys over there. 
riding like mad. The ladies over here. Oh. Nice. Okay. Starting to slow down. Oh, we're running out of time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, someone, someone, someone. I had to grab one. I had a live one. Okay, stop riding. Whew. The time is over. Now it's time for me to start. Come with me and we shall see how well they did with C. Okay, it's like starting here. We got up. Okay, let's continue with our C. Hey! All right, we tallied it up. On the side, Lemon Team, they had five points to begin with, another 21, making it a total of 26. Not too bad. Kiwi had a few more. They brought with them three more. Remember, eight points. Adding 30 to that is 38. It's Kiwi Team moving on! <laughs> Just how talented our Tinan Elementary School students are. Sure, did you know that our school is regarded as one of the most comprehensive art school in Korea? Let's show them why. First, our dancing club. These kids came in third place at the Seoul Elementary School's club talent show. Wow, that's how good they are. Hope to see them grow into wonderful dancers. Listening to someone sing is really enjoyable and entertaining. Yep, especially if the singers were the third place winner student singing contest held by University of Education. Also talented in different fields of arts, that's the students at Tengyan Elementary. We hope to see each and every one of you grow into great musicians and artists in the future. So ready to show off your talent on Super Kids? I'm sure you guys can pull it up. Go for it! <laughs> Students out there like homework? Anybody? I don't see anybody raising their hand. That's because students in general don't like homework. And we've done that. We've given homework in advance. The students here were given a book to read. And they knew they'd be asked questions on that book. Some will be easier, some will be more difficult. But we have to eliminate kids from 20 down to 5. First we go 20 to 10. That's what we're going to do right now. But don't you want to know the book? They know it. but. We gotta tell you what the book is. Sinbad is a restless sailor, always setting out to sea. Even though he encounters many obstacles during his journey, he always seems to know a safe way out. So, ready to hear what kind of adventure Sinbad got into? Then let's start in or out. Yes, indeed. In or out time with Simbad. He's the guy who likes to eat uh, spinach and gets really strong, right? No, that's Popeye. That was a trick question. Okay, we have some real questions now for our participants. Come on out. First two people. <laughs> All right, guys, we got one and 11. 
Did you enjoy the book number one? How many times did you read it? One more time. Aha, uh -huh. how about you, number 11? Four or five. Ooh, all right. The multiple times may help you out. Here's a question. The story Sinbad the Sailor is found in the book Arabian Nights. How many nights does the Arabian Nights... Number 11. 1001. You are in! Very good. That's right. Hi, number two. Mm, did you have a favorite part in the story? Yes. What part? Uh, first voyage. Okay. How about you, number 12? Did you have a favorite part? Yes. What part? Uh, second voyage. All right. Well, if you two guys are ready, here is a question for you. Sinbad thought he was on an island, but it turned out to be the back of this sea animal. Yes, number two. Whale. That's correct. Very good. <laughs> the ladies in white. Okay, number three, how are you? Nervous. A little bit nervous. Okay, I understand. Nervous just going around, going away. And here's your question. What was the animal Sinbad first found on the first island he arrived? Yes. A horse. That's correct. Very good job. <laughs> Looks a little surprised there. Hi, number four. What's your favorite class? Math. Math. Are you good at math? Yes. Okay, how about you, number 14? Do you have a favorite class? Yes. What is it? Science. Science. Math and science. Okay. Well, both of you are confident about math and science. Let's see if you're confident about answering this one. During his second journey, Sinbad came upon gigantic birds that can even eat elephants. What is the name of this? Yes, number four. Look. You got it. Right, the mythical birds, giant birds to eat elephants. Two more people, come on out. That's a big bird, the rock. Okay, number five, do you have a, a favorite animal? Yes. What uh, is it? I like, I like dogs. Dogs. How about you, number 15, do you have a favorite animal? Yes. What? A bird. A bird. Like a rock? No. A smaller bird? Yes. All right. Here's a small question for you. What kind of animal did Sinbad find himself surrounded by when he got off the rock? Number 15. Snake. snake. That's right. You're in. Excellent job. Hi, ladies. Number six, what do you like to do in your free time? I read books. Read books? Yeah. Okay. How about you, number 16? I read books too. Reading books, very popular in free time. Amazing. When I was that age, I was not reading books. I was out eating dirt, I think. Anyway, here's a question for you. Good luck. Sinbad was buried along with his dead wife, but was able to escape thanks to this animal. Yes, number 16. Fox. Yeah, you got it. That's right. That crafty box. These ladies seem very popular. A lot of applause from the gallery. Hi, number seven. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Do you have a hobby? Listening music. Listening to music. Listening to music. And how about you, seventeen? Do you have a hobby? Yes. What is it? Reading books. Reading books. Listening to music, reading books. Wow, very peaceful. Okay, here's a question for you. Good luck. What country did Sinbad really want to visit? India. You got it. Very good. Good job, you are in. Hi, number eight. I just mentioned India. 
Is there a country you'd like to visit anywhere in the world? Australia. Australia, okay, nice choice. All right, number 18. If I say here's a round trip ticket anywhere in the world, where would you like to go? China. To China. Interesting, Australia and China. Okay, let's travel into the world of this question. When the sailors threw stones at the monkeys, what did the monkeys throw back at the sailors? Yes, number eight. Cacao. That's right. Very good. Cacao beans. So, number nine, how are you doing? I'm fine. And what do you do on the weekends with mom and dad? Mm, I play outside with my friends and my parents sleep. <laughs> you play outside with your friends and mom and dad rest. Yes. I see. Okay. How about you, number 19? Weekend, mom and dad, what do you like to do with them? I went to market. Go to the market? Okay. With mom and dad or mostly with mom? Family. The whole family all together. Excellent. Okay. Here are, well, here is one question for you guys. How many times did Sinbad set to sea? How many times did he go out to sea? Seven. That's right. You are in. A lucky number indeed. Okay, we have, uh, let's see, one more spot. Come on out, two more fighting. Number 10 and number 20. Number 10, have you ever gone fishing? Gone on a boat out in the ocean? Yes. How was it? Um, it was fine. Was it? Very good. Number 20, how about you? Did you ever ride in a boat? Yes. On a lake or a river or an ocean? Mm, ocean. On the ocean. It's pretty exciting. Actually, when I went, I got a little bit seasick. Anyway, hopefully you won't get sick of this question. Sinbad, who became a slave of the pirates, had to gather a certain number of elephant teeth to go back home. How many was it? Yes, number 10? 100. You got it! Unbelievable! You are in! Very good job! Okay, and with that we have determined 20 down to 10, and we've got to move it down to, yes, five. So, you guys take a little bit of time, do some shuffling, actually choose numbers, who you're going to do battle against. Good luck. I'll wait here. Whoa, it has been done. That's right, they have chosen who they're going to do battle against. Now, things are going to be turned up a notch, more difficult questions. Hopefully you can handle them because we have five spots for you 10 to fill. That means that five of you are going to move on and five of you are going to move out. Okay, let's have two move up. All right. Well, hopefully you don't mind this question. Sinbad hung on to the blank of the rock bird and flew through the sky. Yes, number four. Taban. No, that's not it. Yes, number 17. Leg. That's right, you move on. Congratulations. Our first spot is taken. Very good job. Okay, let me ask you what your favorite subject is, number eight. Favorite class. Math. Math. And number 10, how about you? Um, science and social studies. Science and social studies. Very, very good. Okay, get ready because here is a question for you. The floor of the valley that Sinbad was dropped into was covered with blank. Diamonds. 10. That's right. Diamonds. You move on. Let's have two more folks come on out. So, whoever's quickest in getting, you're pushing the thing down and getting the right answer, they're gonna move on. Here's the question. 
Once upon a time, Sinbad lived in blank. Number 16. Baghdad. You move on! Very good. Three spots now failed, two more to go. Come on down! Okay, here's a question for you. Good luck. In Sinbad's third journey, Sinbad and his sailors were robbed by the blank who took their ship to sea. What? Yes, number 11. Small people. Uh, yeah. Okay. Small people. We'll take that. Very good. You're moving on. Very good. You got the right answer. We have one more spot. Who's going to fill that spot? We shall see. Two more folks, come on out. All right, here's a good question for you. The giant that Sinbad came across had a huge face and one eye. You got it, you are in, you're moving on. Congratulations, that final spot is finally filled. Oh my goodness. Here they are. You're looking at them, the top five folks. They'll move on to the next round. Things get really challenging. Each of the contestants have had uh, challenges so far, but this is especially challenging. Really. Each person will have opportunities, I think like nine opportunities, to answer questions. <laughs> and those who do really well, well, I'm sorry, but only one, only one person can advance to the final round. Anytime you're given a question, the spotlight's on you, and you get really nervous. And even though you may know it, Shall I press the button? You get confused. It's very, very tough. Well, each of these guys have proven themselves, and now it's time to prove yourself even more. Okay, let's meet our five finalists in our brain power section here. Okay, we've got number two is Sang Yoon. Yes. Great job so far. Number 10, next to Sang Yoon is Arim. And moving on further, number 11 is Ojin. Next to Ojin is number 16 is Sujin. And 17 is Jinhee. A lot of Jins here. Okay, you guys, got the power and the ability to score a lot of points. There are 10 point, 20 point, and 30 point questions. I think we'll start uh, with a 10 point question in the category of common. What alphabet letter commonly fits in all the blanks? Number 10. D. That's right. Checking it off, that's odd MD is correct, 3D game. There's a D-Day, when the due date is coming up, D-Day, and 50% DC, something you hear in Korea a lot. I want a discount, I want a DC. <laughs> discount, you hear that a lot here in Korea. Fantastic, good job. Adim, you have 10 points added to your total of 100. Everybody starts with 100, you have 110 now. And let me ask, what would you like to be in the future? I want to be a scientist. A scientist. And what will you do with your scientific powers? Um, I'll help people. Help people. Excellent goal. Okay. Well, please choose an excellent category, an excellent question. <clears throat> I'll choose food. Okay. Food for 20 points. Here is that delicious question. Don't the green fields make you feel peaceful? These plants grow well in warm, moist climates. Yes, number 11. Green tea. You got it! Oh my goodness! That was pretty fast. Supposed to be good for you. One of the 10 healthiest foods in the world, I hear. A lot of people drink green tea instead of coffee. Excellent job for 20 points. You got it. 
number 11, and that is Ojin. So Ojin, what would you like to be in the future? Game maker. A game maker? You mean designing and creating games? Yes. So do you spend a lot of time doing computer games? Yes. And it's real fun? Yes. Obviously, okay. 20 points added to your 100, bringing you to the lead position. 120 is your total. What category would you like? I choose 10 Super Korea. Super Korea for 10 points, that's our category. Let's find some super question for you. Hey there, Super Kids friends. Look, I'm at the Hantek Botanical Garden located in Yonginchi, Gyeonggi-do. Come on, I'll show you around. Hantek Botanical Garden is the largest botanical garden in Korea with a collection of more than 8,300 different kinds of plants. You will be able to enjoy a variety of unusual and rare plants. This area is called the Wall Garden. Here, you will find extraordinary flowers that grow in the cracks of stone walls. To see flowers on stone walls is quite unusual, but beautiful at the same time. This place is the Medicinal Plants Garden, where only plants for medicinal purposes are kept. You've probably seen them all dried up at the Oriental Metal Store. Can you believe those dry things used to be these beautiful green plants? How fragrant they are! These plants are also beneficial to our body, just like the medicinal plants. Now, super kids, here comes a question. These are plants that are useful to humans in every way. They can be eaten. Number 16. Harf. You got it. Very good. I mentioned green tea earlier, but herbs, they're good to eat, they're good medicinally, they're good tea too with honey, mmm, herb tea. All right, well, uh, what would you like to be in the future? Astronaut. An astronaut? What made you excited about being an astronaut? Uh, reading books about Neil Armstrong. Reading books, wow, the power of books. Wanna go to outer space, fly rockets, discover the universe, fantastic. Well, you have 10 points added to your total. That's 110. And now, please fly us to another category. Sports. OK, sports for 10 points. Here is the sport question. The host city of the 2014 Asian Games was announced last month. This city will be the third Korean city to host the Asian Games, following Seoul in 1986 and Busan in 2002. Well known for its international airport, which city is this? Yes, number 11. Incheon. There we go. Ojin in the lead. Another 10 on to this total. Now is 130 points. Very good job. Do you have a choice for a category? I'll choose 20 units. Okay. Units is the category for 20 points. Here's a units question. Look at the connection between the following words and figure out what goes in the blank. South Korea is to won as United Kingdom. Number 10. Pound. That's right. Pound. Autumn. With that, has tied it up 130 apiece. We'll take a look at the board real quick. Oh, we've got number two at 100 points. That is Sangyun. Adem just tied it up 130. Next to her, with also 130 points, is Ojin. Sujin, 110 points. And finally, Jinhee with 100 points. We've uh, passed the halfway point, but the big questions, the 30 point questions, are all still intact, as well as your chances. So, Please choose a category and a question. I'll choose words. Words for 20 points. There is a book called The Great Values of Life. 
it is written that trust is the belief that your sister will not ride ahead of you while riding bikes. Love is to not kill a rose, but to enjoy its beauty. So then, what are the following sentences describing? Having blank is to do good deeds and wait for Christmas to come. It is also to calmly wait for mom to cook dinner, even though you are starving. Yes, number 11. Kindness. Kindness? Yes, Arin. Patience. That's right, very good. I mean, think about it. Mom's cooking dinner, it smells good, you're really hungry, but you're waiting. That requires patience. Excellent job. With that, you are in the lead. 150 is your present score. Now, we've got three big questions left, each okay. worth 30 points. And if you use your chance, and if you get it right, worth 60. Please choose a category. I'll choose jobs. Jobs for 30 points. Hi, Super Kids friends. This is the Jiwon office, an architecture firm. And this is Mr. Kim Won Cho, the head of the firm, who is known for his work. The most important stage in building a house is, of course, the design. You have to have a good detailed design to make a strong and solid house. 건축가란 예, 흔히 어, 집을 짓고 또 집을 설계하고 예, 그런 직업을 말을 합니다. 어, 그 안에서 살게 될 사람들이 어, 어떻게 어, 이 공간에서 어, 또 즐겁고 또 편하고 또 행복하게 이렇게 살수 있을까 그런 생각을 많이 하면서 건축 설계를 합니다. After the layout of a house design is completed, the staff gather together to see if there are any corrections to be made. Next, the architects have to choose the material they are going to use for the house. Usually, the most common materials are wood, tiles, or bricks, but even these differ in form and purpose. Now here's the question. 예, 이것은 어, 색이 있는 유리를 이어 붙이거나 유리 위에 어, 색을 입혀서 어, 표현하는 기법인데요. 성당이나 교회 건축에 많이 사용하는데요. 어, 이것을 어, 통해서 빛이 들어오면 그 신비로운 느낌이 아주 좋습니다. 그래서 어, 중세 때 고딕 어, 건축 양식에 많이 사용하였는데요. 이것은 무엇일까요? Number 11 has pressed your answer, Ojin. Stained glass. That's right. That's right. Very good job. 60 points added, and now you are in the lead. 10 point lead, that is. 30 points. Very, very good job. Yes, stained glass. You often see them in cathedrals. Very many designs and pictures designing glass. Excellent job. 160. Oh my goodness, two big questions left. Again, no one has used their chance. We shall see what happens. Yes, please choose a category. Is it pattern or Super Korea? Super Korea. Super Korea again, 30 points. The category, Super Korea. The Hantek Botanical Garden has different themes for the gardens. And in each garden, you'll be able to see a variety of rare plants and flowers that you can't see anywhere else. Remember learning at school that sunlight is essential for the flowers and trees to grow? Well, that's not the case of every plant. There are some plants that actually grow better in the shade. And they're all here at the Shade Plants Garden. These shade-loving plants are usually found in the mountains and they have very thin leaves. Many can't survive in bright sunlight. Now, the plants found here are the exact opposite from the plants we saw at the Shade Plants Garden. These plants came from South Africa and they can only grow in warm weather. Since these plants don't grow in Korea, these are really rare. Wow! There is even a 7-meter aloe tree! Now, here's the question. This tree's trunk looks like a barrel and the branches look like roots. 
Found mostly in Africa, this tree also comes out in the novel The Little Prince. Number 11, your answer? Baobab tree. That's right. Very good job. Clearly in the lead now with 190 points. Very good. That's right, the baobab tree. I've been to that place. It's a great garden. Right now, Ojin is in the lead. He has 190 points. Does anybody want to use her chance? All right. She's going for it, using the chance. All right. More people are going for it. All right, here we go. Finally waking up. Number two. Yeah, come on, you can do it. <sighs> so much encouragement is necessary sometimes. All right, it is now worth 60 points. It's worth a total of 60 to one person only. Whoever gets it right gets 60 points. Those of you who don't get it right, well, there's no penalty at all. Here we go. Pattern is the question. Good luck, guys. Look at the two number lists given in the tables. There is a certain pattern to how the numbers are arranged. Figure out what numbers go in the blank A. It's 15. You got it. You got it. Very good job. That's right. There's the three and the six and the nine. Twelve. That was the one spot. And the one, the two, and the three. 12 plus three, 15. You got it. Excellent job, number two, and that is Sangyun. All right, you did a great job. That was worth 60 points. 160 is your total. Let's look at all the totals. Yours, 160. It is Autumn, 150. 190, number 11, that's Ojin. And Sujin had 110. And Jinny had 100. So it is Ojin who held on to the lead, 190 points. Congratulations, you're moving on to the final round. The school champion, he did a very good job so far. Interested in uh, computer games. You like playing computer games, right? Yes. How much time do mom and dad give you every day to play? One hour. One hour a day? Yes. Okay, not bad. And in the future, you want to be a computer designer, computer game designer? Yes. A lot of great designers here in Korea. Yes. I'm sure you'll be one of those great designers. Okay, now, school champion so far, but not yet a super kid. We want you to get two correct answers. That's all you need out of three questions. But we want to encourage you to, let's have all your friends here give a round of applause. So far, he did a good job, right? Yeah. Round of applause. Huh? All right. All right. They're ready. They're behind you. They're excited. Are you excited? Yes. OK, let's see the three categories. We have power, creature, and number. Which one do you think is going to be easy? Power. Power it is. Good luck. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Remote control. Rechargeable. Positive, negative. Clock. OK. What comes to mind when you hear those words? Do you have an idea? Yes. What's your answer? Battery. That's right. You got it. Battery. One down. You have one down. You are halfway there. If you get just one more, you'll be today's super kid. OK, let's look at the remaining categories. We have creature and number. Which one would you like? Number. Number it is. Here is your question. The following words have this number in common. What is it? Basketball. 
Starfish. Music sheet. Children's Day. We're looking for a number. Basketball, starfish, music sheet, and Children's Day have this number in common. Do you know the answer? Five. Your answer is five. If you're correct, you are today's champion and a super kid. So far, just a champion. Let's see, is five the correct answer? Yes, it is! Congratulations! Introducing our prizes for the winners. The Super Kid wins a Samsung notebook computer. First prize is a digital camera. Second, third, fourth, and fifth place contestants receive an MP3 player. All competitors receive a gift card from Super Kids. The prize for the Super Kid is provided by Samsung. Super Kids is made in cooperation with Teachers Plus, an online community for English teachers. Who are they going to do battle against? Play something.